What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate, and guess what we're talking about today? We've talked a lot about After Effects, Premiere Pro, but those are some super difficult software for someone who just wants to get started making videos right out the gate. So guess what we're talking about today? We're gonna be talking about the top three easiest video editors. I'm talking about editors that are so easy that you can start making some super cool visuals from motion graphics, intros, to even editing some home videos. Honestly, like I even hesitate to say software just because these are things that can be done right in your browser or on your phone, even on your desktop. So pretty versatile here when it comes to your options. I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Oh. So I get asked all the time, like what's the best video editing software to start off with? So a lot of you know that I talk about After Effects and Premiere Pro a lot, but I sometimes hesitate because I think back on my experience when I first learned those software. Truth be told, it took me some years to finally get to know some stuff about it. Even then, I'm still learning a whole bunch more. Yeah, and I also have to recognize the fact that After Effects and Premiere are some pretty pricey options. So instead, we're gonna talk about editors that are either free or super easy, pretty much something that you can use if you've never touched the video editing program before. Now, if you wanna eventually get into some of the more in-depth stuff, I highly recommend Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro. But for someone who's just probably looking to get some of their videos up online super quickly, not having to do too much, these are going to be the things that's going to help you get started right away. Let's waste no more time. You know, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just hop right into this. Let's go. First up on the list, we have Panzoid. Panzoid is a super cool in-browser editor. That's right, you heard me right. I'm talking about in your freaking browser. That means you don't have to download any software. Surprisingly, you don't even have to log in in order to start making some really cool, dope 3D motion graphics and 2D motion graphics. The reason for that is because the community are just packed with a bunch of creatives who are making all kinds of stuff free for you guys to use. So hop on over there, check out Panzoid as well. If you can imagine, I was able to make this. This. And this. All within a few minutes, literally without any reading of a tutorial guide or anything like that. It live updates like right when you change any of the parameters here. So if I go ahead and change the text here, we're seeing the 3D render of it get updated right there in the browser, which is just freaking insane to me. And then I can also go ahead and just export everything out in a nice, easy to use video. So the fact that this is in browser means that you don't have to download any software and you can get using it right away. So easy, in fact, I'm gonna show you how you can make something really cool in under a minute. Let's go. I'm gonna click on this button right here, which is a cool looking community project. I'm gonna go over to this button over here, which is the objects panel. I'm just gonna change this text and instantly hit play and we got something super dope. You guys can try it out. There's literally like thousands. I've gotten lost in it. I've spent hours on this already. So I never thought something this cool and customizable could be done in browser. I'm talking about this can be done in your Google Chrome, your Safari, your Opera, your Firefox, your... How many browsers are there? So I've seen a ton of savvy YouTubers make free custom motion graphics for things like their intros or end screens using something like Panzoid. And it's a huge benefit because you don't have to spend years learning something like 3D animation or video editing in order to have something look pretty cool that you can use right away. There's so much flexibility with it. Can you believe that someone made even this Netflix logo intro and this Cartoon Network one like, like with the 3D and everything working, holy sh I don't even know like how these people are able to make such cool uses of the effects and the rhythm with the music and all these different camera movements and things like that going on. It's just super impressive. Holy shit. Yeah, this is so cool. I guarantee if you guys go to Panzoid right now, just play around with it. You're gonna have some super dope intros and like really cool graphics. Really dope. It has a whole bunch of flexibility really easy to use and pick up. And the community just freaking blows my mind with all the creative stuff that they're doing. And for that reason, Panzoid gets a well-earned Black Mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so number two on the list is a super dope. It's one of the easiest video editing apps that we use here to make like all kinds of cool stuff. 
right from our phone. You know what, InShot is so freaking easy. I figured it out in like two minutes. So this app is packed with a whole bunch of features. It's for free, but there is like a little premium subscription thing that they got going on with their effects pack. Yeah. Oh shoot, so this video on our channel was edited by Chriselle using InShot on her phone. And then we went ahead and did like a little extra stuff here and there. Nowadays, InShot comes packed with built-in transitions, text animations, a whole bunch of super cool effects. It's just freaking mind blowing all the stuff that you can do right now with just your cell phone, like holy shit. Okay, so they got royalty free songs, sound effects, you can add clips, cut clips, move clips, add effects, and you can even add custom fonts. Yeah, you heard me right. You can add custom fonts. So all of us who get lost in the sauce of fonts over at thefont.com, they got us too. So their premium uh, subscription plan, I think is like $12 or $10 a year, something like that, which amounts to like less than a dollar a month. Honestly, I hate premium subscriptions and stuff like that, but this one is worth it because the developers are constantly updating it with super cool motion graphics and features. So go ahead and support them devs. Great UI, great features, just overall great updates and great developers. And for that reason, InShot gets a well-deserved Black Mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so last up on the list at number three, we have a program that brings the best of both worlds. I'm talking about a software that you can use on your desktop. They also have a preset effects pack, a whole bunch of super cool features. It's just super easy to use and I'm honestly just freaking mind blown. That's right, I'm talking about Movavi. It's a program that brings the best of both worlds by having both on desktop with Windows and Mac. This is a software that you could pick up within minutes and honestly the UI and everything looks so easy to understand. You can figure out how to make a video super quickly. The closest thing that I could compare it to is Final Cut except Final Cut costs like $300, $400 and is a Mac only software. Whereas the developers over at Movavi, I gotta give a huge kudos to them because they created a software that honestly challenges the likes of Final Cut and iMovie, but it's also cross-platform and super affordable with a free trial. And like, you know, it's, it's just, it, yeah, great, great job to you guys. Movavi is one of those easy editors that you can pick up right away. Also, for those of you who don't know anything about animation, don't worry, Movavi's also got you covered by having template pack and preset pack with a bunch of different motion graphics that you can use. And there's a whole lot of free resources out there that you guys can start using right away. So yeah, there's really no excuse nowadays not to be making really dope videos. What a time to be alive. That just about wraps it up for the easiest video editors. Now, if you guys have one that's on your radar that you think I should know about and just did not talk about in this list, please leave a comment down below. I'm gonna love reading it. If you have not subscribed already, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell, because we're gonna be talking about a whole bunch of cool stuff and you're not gonna wanna miss out. And yo, I'm pretty sure by the time this video comes out, we're at 100K, past 100K. I don't even know. You guys will let me know because you can check it right there. But I wanna go ahead and say thanks to all of you guys for being a part of this community. It's like freaking amazing. Um, it's just mind blowing because a year ago we had 480 subscribers, which I thought was a huge amount of people already. And now we got a hundred thousand plus people, which is like, insane. <sighs> okay. You know, like I can't even fathom it. So, you know, I wanted to spread a whole lot of love to you guys. And, uh, as always, I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh, follow us on Instagram if you haven't already. Got a whole bunch of cool stuff going on there as well. Send us your stuff. You know, we got uh, the top crazy After Effects videos coming out. And I always love looking at super dope VFX from the community.